What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're joining the Wasp from Quantumania. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page with the top edge of the visor. We're gonna start over on the left side and let's draw a curve that comes down the middle. And we're just gonna bend that back up towards the right. Now let's bend this back out towards the side of the visor. So on the left, we're just gonna go up and just flatten that out. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's come straight down along the side of the visor. Start with the left. Draw that same length line on the right. Now from here, we're just going to angle this down and then in towards the bottom. Now I'm going to bend the bottom edge of the visor coming up towards the center, leaving a gap in the middle. So we'll start with the left. Coming in and then bending that up. Let's move over towards the right. Coming down and then bend that out. And we'll close off the middle. From these two points, let's angle this down and in towards the bottom. And we'll flatten this off. Let's draw a circle along the bottom. Starting on the left point, go all the way around, come down towards the bottom, and then bring that back up towards the top. Now I'm going to add a smaller circle along the bottom, so I'm leaving a small gap, going up, around, and then back down. And then we'll add a curve along the top, starting from the left, go up, and then bend that down. Let's go to the outside of the visor, we're going to draw a curve that comes down, and just bend that in towards the outside of that circle. Now let's add a trim along the bottom of the visor. We step down, bend this in, and then up towards that center piece. Let's go back up to the top corners of the visor, draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the side of the head. Then from here, draw a straight line coming down. Let's angle the jaw coming down and then in towards the bottom. And we'll curve the bottom of the head, coming down and then back in. Let's go back to the outside point and draw another curve, coming down and then in, right about there. And then it's down and then in towards the bottom of the head. Let's go back to the top corners of the head, draw another straight line going up. Let's angle this up and in. Let's angle this back up toward the top of the head. And we'll close off the top with a curve, going up the middle and then back down. Let's go back and trace the top edge of the visor. We're going to step up, all the way around, in towards the middle, and then out towards the right. And then we'll separate the side of the visor, coming down and then out. Now from these points, let's step out and add a curve, coming in and then down towards the visor. Let's step out and draw that again. Now I want to tuck the top of the head in behind this trim. On the left side, let's step in, curve this up, round up the top of the head, go across and then back down on the right. And we'll add one more trim along the top, coming in and then down. Let's round up the side of the head. From this top point, we're going to step down, curve around, and then bend that back in towards the side of the head. And then from the outside of that curve, draw a straight angle line going up and out. Just come in with a short line. Now I'm just going to taper this line coming back in so it gets wider along the bottom. Let's separate the top with a small line. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, underneath the head, then the body going out down towards the hip, 
go over toward the right side, and bring that down toward the same height. Now from the hips, we're gonna bend this down and in, I'll leave a gap in between, and it'll draw a V in the center. Down, and then up. Let's trace this along the top. So we step up, bring this in, move over towards the right, and from the inside, again, drawing another V. Let's add two lines on either side. We'll step out and draw one more line. Now let's go to the center of the body and draw a circle. And then from the chin, draw a straight line coming in towards the top of that circle, continue down towards the belt. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the body, angle this down and then in towards the circle. Step down and draw that again. From the side of the circle, bend this up and then out towards the side. And then we'll move down, curve this down and in. And then angle this down and in towards the belt. Now from the center point, let's step down and add a curve. Go up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, then the foot coming down and then up on the outside. And then going back to the left side, let's draw the top of the foot. We're going to bend this up, and then bend this back down, aiming towards the heel. We want to leave a gap on the inside. Now I'm going to move back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip, bend the leg going out, and then bend that down on top of the feet. Let's go back down to the bottom and add a thick sole. Let's take this curve, step up, and just trace that across towards the heel and on the right side, from heel to toe. From the top of the foot, let's step up, curve the boot coming down and then up on the inside and we'll line that up on the right. Now halfway along this curve, draw a straight angle line going up. Angle this up and out toward the side. Angle this down and out. Let's add a trim along the side of the leg. From the hip, we'll step in, follow that curve coming down towards that knee. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway between the bottom of the head and the hip. So we'll start right here, curve the arm going out and down towards the wrist. From the wrist, let's draw a half circle coming in and out to the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. From the bottom curve of the thumb, let's draw the first finger coming down, and bend that up around that bracket. Step down toward the side, go out, and bend that up. And then again, on the side, curve the third finger going out, bend the arm coming up and in underneath the head. Now let's separate out the cuff. Start from the top of the thumb, then this up, and then out. Let's move back up and draw that again. Now from the top of the body, we're going to curve this out and then down towards the cuff with the trim. And now we're going to separate the shoulder with one more curve, going up and then out. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's the Wasp from Quantumania. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, then please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to continue to draw with me, then click on this video right over here and I'll be waiting.